sinin dito po? Your body, your age, whether you like it or not, it will change. And sooner or later, our government will change. Mr. Moderator, distinguished guests, fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This House officiates a resolution to our topic. Be it resolved that Philippines should change the federal system of government. We define federalism to be as a system of government in which the same territory is controlled by the level of government. First, the national government responsible for the federal go governance, governing the issues that affect the entire country, and second, the smaller subdivisions, states, and cities governing the issues of local concern. We live in an age of federalism, period. Of the G20 countries with the most important economies in the world, at least 12 have federal constitutional structures, and several others are experimenting with the federalism of the devolution of power. The first group includes the United States, Europe, European Union, Germany, Brazil, Argentina, Canada, Indonesia, Australia, Russia, Mexico, and South Africa. The latter group includes the United Kingdom, Spain, Belgium, Italy, and Japan. Of the 10 countries with the highest GDPs in the world, only two, China and France, lack any assemblance Semblance, rather, or a federal structure. Of the world's 10 most populous countries, eight have federal or revolutionary structures. Every country except for China and Bangladesh, the only top 10 countries by territorial size to lack a federal structure are China and Sudan, which recently experienced a C-section. Need to hear more? You need more? Because yes. Yes. we have a lot. <laughs> to acquaint our equivocal attitude towards a federal system of government, allow us to educate our esteem, negative team, to our contentions. Contention number one, the laboratory of democracy. Do you know what does it mean? <laughs> Not Shabu Laboratory, huh? <laughs> Experimentation at the state level produces innovative policies and program. In 1932, Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandes memorably remarked that the U.S. federal system allowed any individual state to be a laboratory for experiments and policies without putting the rest of the nation at risk. Contentions number two, diversity of preference. What is best for Metro Manila is not necessarily what is best for Agusan del Sur. What is best for Pampanga is not necessarily what is best for Bohol. By decentralizing power, one can better match preferences with policies the diversity of preference view implies the more heterogeneous a as, as society is, and the more decentralized should be its institution. Contention number three, subsidiarity, matching economic and political jurisdictions. Democracy is enhanced when decision making occurs at a more local level because elected representatives become more responsive to the needs of the individuals. Subsidiarity is the idea that matters should be decided at the lowest or least centralized competent level of government. Contention number four, competitive federalism. Competitive federalism is the powerful harnessing the sovereignty system that allows states to compete with each other or growth reigns of issues to provide citizens with the best value of goods and service at the lowest cost. Contentions number five, 
bureaucracy. Did you enjoy? Can you spell bureaucracy? <laughs> In federal system, it cuts national bureaucracy short. The longevity of process and giving services within the local regions. Given the report of commission and audit in 2014 regarding the audit of Typhoon Yolanda relief operations. Contention number six, the spread of urbanization. The federal form of government will promote economic development that will provide opportunities for people living in areas outside of the urban centers and may prevent the rapid growth of population due to the increasing number of urban migrants in the cities. And the last contention, number seven, equal distribution of wealth, allocation of funds per state, unlike in a unitary system wherein income is surrendered to the center central government and federal system, local government units, or a state return a portion to the, to the government. Now, here is my conclusion. To our team firms, that the Constitution must have constructed approach through a newer and better federal system of government. If we sit on the same chair, reluctant of trying change, we are dreaming of success. We are, we are only dreaming of success, waking up with the reality of the same rotten system engulfing the poverty and unitary corrupt government. As quoted saying by U.S. President Barack Obama, we did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. God bless you. God bless our country. Back to you.